Finally, after a really long time, I have managed to get another set of weapons, diamond or plague diamond in Call of Duty Zombies. And I will try to tell you my tips and tricks that I've learned over these past few days that as I've been doing these guns. Now, just to clarify, these are not difficult. It's just I've been very busy. And actually, something that crazy happened to me is that I unlocked Dark Ether, which... <laughs> It's too early since I still have LMGs, ARs, and SMGs to finish, which I still will and make guides on them, but I guess the glitch of getting the camos earlier than you're supposed to is still happening since for some odd reason some of my gold camos counted for it, like the Golden Viper, but that's not the point. I also made some other guides on other weapons which are on my YouTube channel if you want to check them out if you're new here. Also, I don't know if I've already mentioned this in my previous videos, but thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. We're nearly on 10,500, which is insane, and also one last thing before we Fully get into it is actually there's two more things one there's timestamps down below if you're looking for specific camo challenges and two we have a discord that's actually doing extremely well right now and if you really want to join it and maybe find people to help you out or even play with be sure to join it it's actually becoming this huge thing that i'm really happy that you all are actually joining and contributing to without further ado let's get into it the first thing i will talk about is in general the kind of setup that i use like with the perks and stuff like that now, i won't really get into attachments but what I can recommend is some kind of scope that's not like a red dot. I find the scopes which kind of zoom in closer and are pretty like ACOG scope-ish looking ones to be the most effective for example getting the critical kills. But the perks I always recommend is obviously Jug and Deadshot. The reason Deadshot is amazing is because it aims specifically for their critical kills. Deadshot mixed with a controller aim assist is just out of this world so if you're a controller player and you're on console you have aim assist use the hell out of it. The field upgrade that I will recommend is ring of fire and i always say to use ether shroud as well if you have a preference but honestly ring of fire for these especially is the best thing as you will be kind of in very sticky situations with these guns these aren't overpowered i guess the m16 is really good but aside from that they are nothing that are you know anything insanely overpowered and easy to use the first camo challenge is grunge with grunge honestly i can't really give you any helpful tips apart from obviously use the weapon as much as possible spawn in with it this is all across the tactical ars doesn't matter which one you're using use obviously the gun as much as you can have a pack a punch have your preferred attachments that you like second camo challenge is liquid 2500 critical kills for all of these weapons including the dmr and also the type 63 i hope that's the right name best thing that you can do is if you're on controller abuse the hell out of dead shot and your controller aim assist spam left trigger and right trigger obviously to shoot now i found that the aug and the m16 have a pretty different fire rate difference so for example the aug has a really fast fire rate and m16 is slower you might be getting hits on their bodies with the m16 more than their headshots so try to be careful and try to go for their heads more now if you're on pc i recommend shooting their zombies heads with dead shot obviously but anywhere that's a flat surface now for example in the machina you could run around where the pack a punch room is or you could run around knock their own totem and going from room to room and shooting the heads off of the zombies for the critical kills but aside from that honestly as i said the best thing to use is dead shot and if you're in controller also if by any chance you the viewer are a playstation 5 player and have a playstation 5 controller i recommend turning off your adaptive triggers why because the aim is really slow with the left trigger and your finger can actually get really sore i experienced that a lot and on top of that if you have a really good trigger finger it will be heavily affected if you don't turn it off even though after i turned it off i still have a little bit of resistance it's in the settings but that's enough for the ps5 kind of side of things that was just a little helpful tip the next camo is brushstroke 2500 pack a punch kills similar to grunge i can't really go into it as much as i possibly could try to get as much points or essence as early as possible to get a pack a punch you could use a different gun to you know effectively get the points maybe use your knife if you have the knife skill upgraded where you have a melee instead of using your guns but you use the knife itself which actually gives you more points the next camo is vintage which is 15 kills as always i always recommend for you to carry around a more powerful weapon as your secondary that could be a wonder weapon like the ray gun or the die or you could just use the gun itself that you want but obviously it'll be more difficult actually i found the type 63 and the dmr pretty good on the elites aka the megaton it could deal a lot of damage to their head if you aimed it perfectly but once you split him then you could just turn on your ring of fire and you can actually just destroy him i recommend having ring of fire leveled up to level three which will actually help you use your weapon bullets from your ammo stock instead of your actual stock that you have in the gun at the time and that's really good and i fully recommend that so aside from that currently in D machina we have 
the splits, which is basically all we have. You only need to kill one, but with these guns, you could obviously kill all three versions of him, and it would still count. The next camo challenge is Fauna. 10 kills rapidly, 10 times. I did not struggle with this one at all with these guns. These are just the ones you would kind of do. But if you want any recommendation, I recommend piling them up. So, for example, like, getting a bunch of the zombies together, training them wherever your preferred area of training is, and shooting them as much as you can with, for example, a pack-a-punch gun. Or you could use also the field upgrade Ring of Fire, which will basically boost your damage and you'll be able to spray and pray. The next camo challenge is topography. Three or more critical kill hits 25 times. So essentially it's, you know, critical kills, three or more, blah, 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 stuff like that. Not difficult. Aim for their head. If you're going for liquid camo challenge, you will get this one done. Ring of Fire is also very good for this one if you ever really struggle with it. And the last camo is infection. 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit. I kind of struggled with this one. I don't know why. I did play a few matches with my friend, which did mean that there were going to be more zombies at once. Uh, what I recommend doing is playing solo and from early rounds, trying to keep your distance from the zombies. Keep a count in your head and if you can't, obviously you could press down on whatever menu pop up. For example, on PS5, you can press down on the D-pad and the menu pops up and you can exactly see how many kills you're off of, you know, getting the 20. Now you could just keep going. I found it pretty easy to go up to at least round 16 without getting hit, but you would have to be very cautious. And if you, you know, you could just end up doing this challenge by accident like I did in the past with other guns. But for some odd reason, I struggle with attack ARs. But aside from that, also something I forgot to mention is how to level up your guns faster. Honestly, I can't really recommend anything apart from buy the battle pass, which now has double XP weapon basically boosts you can turn them on they're only a limited time currently there is double xp in the game itself so go play as much as possible level up as many weapons as you can that's what i'm currently doing aside from trying to get these camo challenges done and also whenever double xp ever comes out again use it as much as you can but on the base it is very difficult to level up your guns so Again, double XP is the best thing you can do. But that's going to be it. Actually, uh, I really enjoyed going for these now since I'm finally off of college and I can fully concentrate on YouTube and helping you all out. I don't know why I unlocked Dark Ether, but I did. And I guess it's pretty cool. I like the way it looks. It looks amazing in game from what I saw. I still have to check it out on every single gun. I think I even have it unlocked for the guns that I don't have diamond or anything unlocked yet. But um, I, I guess, I, I don't know if they're ever going to fix it. It's weird that it's still in the game. I, it definitely shouldn't be working like that because it counted one of my gold vipers for the tactical ARs for some odd reason it's weird and we're already into season one we're a month into the game and they still haven't fixed it or changed it but yeah guys be sure to join the discord be sure to subscribe i will be doing a giveaway soon depends on when you watch this video definitely trying to figure out what's the best thing i could give away to you all thanking you for the 10,000 subscribers and the next camo grind challenge will most likely be lmgs and i might stream that i don't know yet i'll see you all in the next one Mwah!